night, peoples. Ebony Sheree here. And I'm coming to you with a fast, fast review. Because I got a little man smiling at me. And he's about to unleash on me in a moment. Um, yeah. Week two, Kaor Waste Eraser. I got it on right now. Let me back up so y'all see. Got it on right now. Yeah. Get my little shorts on. I just came from walking around Buddy Attic Lake Park. Walking around the lake, and that's like, I forget how many miles it is. One mile, 1.3 miles, 1.4 miles, something like that. With this on. That's my exercise, and I can do for right now until I see my doctor next week and get the six week okay of me actually working out. Crunches, oh, you know, all that stuff. So, first week I lost two inches. I measured myself on Wednesday, and I had lost an additional half inch. I haven't remeasured yet, so I'm gonna take an intermission, go measure myself, and come back. All right, stay tuned. So, I have a special guest here, obviously, because he was not trying to let mommy give y'all the deets, the good details. So, I measured. I lost an extra half an inch between Wednesday and today. So I'm down to 34 inch waist now, when I started at 37. So I've total loss is three inches so far. Now, I don't know if that's because I've been eating more this week as opposed to last week, because I'm not dieting by any means. I'm not watching what I'm eating right now. I haven't gotten to that step yet. So three inches with a regular lifestyle, not exercising, and just doing household chores and wearing the waist, waist eraser 24 seven, you know, outside of bathing and letting your, you know, abdomen, stomach breathe or whatever. That's not bad, three inches, so. Yeah, and I was gonna come to y'all with um, a makeup done, hair looking cute, but I was like, this is a waist eraser update. This is fitness related. I just walked around a lake and I'm not about to get jiggy and you know, get all freshened up for some little five, three to five minute video talking about fitness. This is gonna be real talk. I just walked, so I just finished. So I'm gonna look just like I do right now. I got my hair back in a ponytail, glasses on, no makeup. I actually got the makeup that I had on yesterday from the, the tutorial that yesterday, um, which should be up or will be up later. This one may go up before that one. So yeah, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. No lipstick on. We keeping it gully today. So, yeah. Let's see if he gonna turn around and see y'all. Nope, he don't wanna see you. Nope, he don't wanna see you. You gonna see the people? You gonna see the people? I let y'all see me up there. Anyway, so if you haven't bought one, get one. Um, I'm kind of excited. I posted a little short clip of my week one um, video on Instagram, and KR Fitness liked it. So pretty excited about that. So somehow, some way in the world, KR, I mean Keisha KR is you know, shout me out in her own little way. So, um, which is, you know, motivating. And I see lots of other girls, lots of other women, you know, making comments, they're getting theirs and they're, you know, getting their body right for the summertime. And, you know, everybody wants to be fit and healthy and cute. Nobody wants no, you know, stomach. Nobody wants the, the what's it called? The muffin top. No. And I don't care what you say, you can be big and beautiful and rock out all the comments you want. Of course, rock out. However, if that's if there's a little twinge of, I don't like how I look, I don't like these inches, I don't like these pounds, I don't like how my body is shaping up to be, do something about it. Can't nobody get fed up more than you can. Cause can't nobody change your body better than you can. So get your, get your weights up, get your fitness routines, get your cardio, get your diet. You know, start somewhere. Everybody gotta start from somewhere. It's not gonna be instantaneous, so. From me to you, from me and Sebastian here, we encourage the uh, the waist eraser regime that we're doing. I'm about to go take me a good old hot bath and wash off my little lake walk. <laughs> and I will holler at y'all later. I have another video coming up discussing um, the necessary evils of makeup. I'm, I'm gonna give you 10, 10 necessary evils. One of my pet peeves right now, I'm telling you right now, 
is washing your makeup off. Mm. I'm about a 35% <laughs> on that. I, I can never do that all of the time, consistently, completely, because I get tired. You, you, you beat your face, you be looking right, you go out. Who has time to do all that removal? No, well, certain people have time. I'm not gonna say that, but sometimes the kid over here, I ain't got time for that. And I'm not gonna say my skin pays for it in the long run, but I mean, I, I have okay skin. I'm not saying I got perfect skin. Um, I, I get a blemish or two or a pimple or two every now and then, but I can tell you, that's my pet peeve right there. Removing your makeup. Mm. I can't, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to come up with a, <laughs> an additional nine, but for right now, that's the first one that stands out in my mind is taking your makeup off. All right, y'all be easy. Enjoy your weekend.